Good morning, good morning. It's Jilly Q from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Uh, coming with another just a very quick, quick, quick flip cup pour from leftover paint that I have. Um, just over this canvas that you, the messy canvas that you see there with the kind of whitish paint on it. The one on the right hand side, you will have seen that video for that one. Um, that, that's been up a day or so now. The video for that one, I, I think I'll manage it that way. So I'll just put this quick flip cut pour. Thought I'd just do it on this leftover. It was a, a canvas that I'd tried to put some, um, what was it? Oh gosh. I'll have in a moment, a senior moment. I tried to put some uh, like modeling paste to get some um, depth or some sort of, uh, I can't think of the blooming word, it'll come. But anyway, it didn't turn out. So I put some white paint over it and then I must have used old white paint that wasn't very good either. So I thought, well, I'm just gonna use these bits of paint that I've got left over and I see what I can get out of them. Actually, I will do it on a smaller cup. So I will. This one turned out absolutely beautiful. It was with the color shift paints. So it turned out lovely. Really happy with that one. So I'll, that one's a keeper. So let's just see if this little flip cup. I'm using the Montmartre Studio acrylics here. This last bit in this has got a bit, of, it's mixed with Floetrol. It's leftovers from doing other pours. This one is the gold and this is mixed with my glue and water mix. Um, and I'm going to, and this is mixed with the glue and water mix, which is the uh, purple, purple. I'm gonna really go all out there and mix my bright orange which I usually mix with my bright orange a good good dab of uh, yellow because it really brightens it up and this is the light purple 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 this is a little bit of navy which has I made up and it has got it is the Floetrol so just got a real old mixture in here and my sheeny shiny gold love the gold it's so beautiful but it does come out very thick so you do have to put quite a bit of pouring medium and a bit of water to to get it down okay look at those beautiful colors in there oh oh, oh geez louise oh i'm a crazy nana oh. Yep, I'm the forever teenager. Teenager with wrinkles instead of pimples. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, yum. Good enough to eat. Just look at those colours together. <gasps> that is the flip and lip. I think uh, Karen Dernish is flip and lip. Does some lovely artwork too. Oh, those colours, very nice. Something is splitting in there, I can see it already. And it might be mixing the two different pouring mediums, I'm not sure. But I can see that that dark navy is kind of giving like a a splitty, a splitty, splitty effect. Is, is that such a word? Splitty? Oh, that's another one of jillifications. Oh, those colours look really nice together. Now I'll have to go make sure I go back through the video and put those colours down because that would make a nice big pour. Because look at those, absolutely stunners. Seeing if I can get anything else to come up in those. Beautiful. Give it a bit of the, give it a bit of the orange. Give it a bit of a bright. Just finger pop the edges. Well, I hope that it 
stays good because this was a canvas that I completely wrecked so it's nice when you do save a canvas I mean I can definitely scrape it all off start again um, because it's just paint as I tell you guys all the time it's only paint and don't be frightened to scrape it off if it's just something that's looking darn darn awful here's my hubby arrived on the bike from up the block okay I'll give it a bit of it's okay I'm you say hello to everybody darling hello <laughs> just got my um one. heat embossing tool yeah my wonder one <laughs> I'm really liking these colours together though, they look pretty super duper. I think I want to give a bit more, a bit more lip in that flip and lip. Yummy. So back to the old basics of the flip cup pour. It's a nice easy one for beginners and you usually get good results. Well I love those colours of that in there. It actually is really nice so I will definitely write that down and do a bigger pour in that. All of my um, ingredients and everything that I've used today is in the drop down box, my pouring medium, my online supplier where I get my um, materials from in Australia, Capriol Chabichic is there if you're in the US or England or Europe, it's all on Amazon so I'm told absolutely but that is a gorgeous one I'll give you a close-up and if you wait on till the end there'll be some photos of the finished piece okay there we go yeah it doesn't do it justice through here from what I'm seeing but it's very nice the colors actually do look lovely together so wait on for some photos and I will get back to you if you haven't seen the video to the one beside it which is turning out just stunning that was with colour shift paints I will put the link underneath this video for the one beside it so you can have a squizzy at that one as well thank you guys so much for joining me uh, thank you very much for subscribing. I appreciate each and every one of you. And if you haven't done so, I'd really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. It costs you absolutely nothing. It's free from me. Um, but it helps me if you subscribe. So, cheerio for now. Until the next exciting episode. Um, stay safe, people. Stay calm. Um, and bye for now.